This is so dreamy. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back trying Aussie goodies. Yeah, Kate's found a cheat code. If you go to B&M, you get the lowdown on all the latest Australian snacks. Yeah, I don't know if B&M have a deal with Australia, but there always seems to be a little section of amazing Australian goodies. They're just leaking out of Australia. Yeah, and they're constantly rotating because I feel like it was only a couple months ago since we did our last Australian mm. B&M. Then I went in recently, all of that stuff had gone, some of it's still there, and then now I've got all of this and I got two halls worth. So this is part one and if you want to watch part two definitely subscribe so you don't miss out when that video is live. Yeah and if you don't want to miss out on the latest British goods then you can check out our website. We've got a selection of subscription one-off boxes, sharing boxes that you can check out on our website. Yeah definitely check those out. We'll also leave them linked down below. Yeah. Okay Alex shall we crack on in? Yes please I'm this so is, excited. Um, I'm really excited. This is mainly dairy milk but we've got a little milky bar in there as well. What would you like to start with? This boysenberry ripple. I find that what so is interesting. What boysenberry? It's a type of berry, Pipe isn't it? Berry. A All boysenberry. All of these bars were so exciting and we got more in part two. So this is Cadbury's Dairy Milk Special Edition Boysenberry Ripple. Dairy milk chocolate and dream white chocolate oh. blend with boysenberry flavoured jelly and vanilla flavoured cream. So it's like a jelly. Yeah. I wonder if the jelly is going to be like a Turkish delight texture or if it's going to, because it looks more soft yeah, than a... Yeah, or if it's um, going to be like Marvellous Creations. Yeah, because it looks quite soft. This looks fantastic. It does sound Absolutely good, Absolutely amazing. It? Let's crack on it. Because didn't we have some boysenberry jam from America? Oh, sometime? I think we did. Oh. Mm. Oh my word. We've got some leakage. We've got leakage. It's definitely like a soft... Oh, Ooh. that's so pretty. And I always forget the Australian um, Cadbury's cubes are more kind of individual. Curved. Yeah. Oh, look, that's like a whole white one. Here you go, I'm excited about this. I am so excited with this. Cheers. Although oh, we yeah, don't always it's... think raspberry goes with chocolate, do we? It's not raspberry. No, no, no. <laughs> I've never had that sort of texture in a bar before. Oh, it's really. But it's usually like a cream or... Mm. Almost like a syrup, isn't it? I'm so glad it's they mix it. like a syrup it. and a gel. Yeah. Mm. I'm so glad they mix it with the Dream. Because I think if it yeah. was pure milk chocolate, it wouldn't be as good. We've definitely had boysenberry before. It's kind of like raspberry. I can't explain it. Is it more a I bit like... it's less sweet. Maybe slightly more tart. Maybe with like a mix of cherry. Yeah, the mix of the dream and the dairy milk is really nice. Fantastic. And then just the sweet fruitiness from the boysenberry is amazing. And also that vanilla cream I think was yeah. needed as well. I'm going straight in for 10 out of 10. I'm going to go 9 out of 10. It is really good, but I just can't give it 10. It's phenomenal. That's one of my favourite Australian bars I think that we've had. I'm wondering if that kind of reminded me of an Allen's raspberry. Yeah, maybe. But well, should we try that? Yeah, shall we back now? To back, yeah. yeah. Look at this. Why do they get such big milky bars? And I like the, the right, colours. Look at this. And yeah. The look, yes, it's the like new... a really bold branding, isn't it? So we get large bars in the UK with milky bar, but they're only like 110 or like 90 grams. This is 170. And also it's portrait. I love the colours. And this is raspberry inspired by Allen's. And I think. You know those Allen's raspberries we've mm. had? I think there's little pieces little in there. Little tiny pieces. So yummy raspberry flavoured jellies and creamy milky bar. Mm. <gasps> so this in some ways is kind of like a white Marvellous Creations. There's some big chunks of Allen, aren't there? Wow. They? Have we had Australian milky bar? I don't think so. You're not a big fan of white chocolate, so what do you no. think to that? Too much? I can't really taste loads of the white chocolate because... There's a lot of raspberry. There's a lot of raspberry, but it's actually okay for me. This is so dreamy. <laughs> <laughs> I said to Al before we started filming, I'm so excited to eat this today. I'm in a real snack mood. I was moment in a snacking mood. Compared to the boysenberry. I prefer the boysenberry, but this is nice, and I think that's mainly due to the... To the Allens. Allens. And but it really is Allens, isn't it? The Milky Bar, though, isn't like overly sickly sweet, as I kind of expected it to be. So the Allens balances mm -hmm. really nicely with it. It works really well together. Yeah. I think with it being a jelly, it kind of tones it down a bit. I'm finding it hard to play off each other, though. They're I feel so like different. they're on par because, like, yeah, they're so different. It might be for you, but because it's white chocolate for me, it's less. So I'd probably give it a seven. Seven? A yeah. Well, you're not getting your hands no, on you this. Can have it. No, I need help. I feel like it's either a 10 or like a nine and a half. It's so good for me. For I'd what be I surprised like, I just... if you had a 10. Yeah. 
That is fantastic. Uh, I'm in love with all of this. Shall we try the last bar? Yeah, I think so. This is pretty epic. This is a snack, banana and caramel. And we had a snack bar before, didn't we? And didn't it have so four where, flavors. Is it like six flavors? But I feel like maybe maybe they're the two favorites or I feel like banana and caramel sometimes go together like banoffee. banoffee. Yeah, these are just two flavors that go well together. I wonder if they do one that's like the strawberry and Raspberry probably, or probably whatever. yeah. If you're from Australia, how often are these like coming out or are they always out? Yeah. And look, celebrate 100 years of shared, what's that say? Shared moments. We don't there. have any of this range, no, do we? None of this range. Wonder, is it every other one? Whoa. Yeah. Do you want to take those two and see if the other one is yep. or is it a whole row? It is every two. What do you think of that? Love it. Mm. I don't. You don't? No. I don't like that. Really? I don't know why. What about it? Maybe the flavour of the caramel or the banana. I just don't really like it. What do you think to that banana in comparison to the boysenberry ripple? I prefer? like it. To me, the banana I almost banana tastes like the, the, um, the inside of a cream egg. You no, know, really? like the yellow from a cream egg. Yeah. It almost tastes like that. And then like a little hint of banana. And I think that goes really well with the caramel. Cadbury's caramel with the dairy milk. You just can't beat mm -hmm. that. Like I had to lick it on its own to taste the banana. I like the banana, but I'm not sure about it with this. I'm not saying it's horrible, mm. but that's not my favorite. And that's probably like a six. What are you laughing at? <laughs> because I'm going to say that's my favorite. <laughs> Really? Yeah, out of the three so far, that this is, is my favorite. Out of that one as well? Yeah, because I love like rich, mm. chocolatey, caramel. I knew you'd things. like that. Mm. When I picked it up, I thought it sounded good, but I knew you'd like that. Yeah, this is this is my 10 out of 10 so far. This is so good. And this is why I said this before. I think it's so good that there's two of us. Yeah. Because it just shows that you could have a video here and if it was just me, I'd be like, oh, don't like that, don't like that. But like... Not to put anyone off because like you enjoy it. Yeah. Everyone has such different flavors and things they like. So not a fan of that. I'd just give it a six, but I love the other two. And I'll give it a 10. Shall we keep <laughs> to the like the creaminess yes. and go for the strawberry I think bites? So. These look great, now, don't they? We get Cadbury's roses at mm. Christmas. Well, you can get them year round, but mainly at Christmas. And in there we have strawberry little cubes surely this is going to be this but why don't we get these unless it's the like so people are like excited for christmas quality street now do just bags of the orange one don't they and like the green one every now and then not all the time yeah every now and then like, you can get some but it's not like you could go to the shop and always get nice like it's so weird we we very much have the quality street and the roses and heroes just at christmas, at christmas yeah. i love these little bites It's like the strawberry one out of the snack bar, isn't it? Mm. I guess that's what it is. It probably is. Oh, lovely. That's not the same as roses, though, is mm. it? Very different. I'm actually surprised how different it is. I just thought it'd be the same thing, just packaged differently. But I think the strawberry flavor is stronger. I feel like Australian roses, though, mm. are probably exactly the same. You'd think so. That is delicious. It tastes like a really good strawberry, like lovely mm. flavor, doesn't it? So where are you putting that in comparison to those two bars, then? I think these are second for me. Right. So this is number one so far, and this is number two. And then your boysenberry yeah. ripple. I kind of think the boysenberry is number one. That's literally just behind, if not on mm. par. And then the... They're so different. And you know, like our British ones, I don't know if I could say one's better than the other. They're basically the same thing, but they're also so different. Yeah. These are really nice though. They're really, so... The really strawberry lovely. is so rich and, don't you and think creamy. The crunchy chocolate on the outside is mm. really lovely. That's fantastic. Yeah. Really enjoyed that. It's probably a nine out of 10 for me. Yeah, I think 9.5 because it's yeah. just behind the boysenberry, but on its own, I'd give it 10. I'm really worried about this, if I'm honest, because this is like strawberry flavor in a milk chocolate twirl. And is it the chocolate that's flavored? I think so, because there's there's nothing in it. Look, oh my word, look. Is that like pink? That looks pink, yeah. And I feel like we've had some twirls before that are flavored and they haven't been this good. Special edition. Special edition. And their twelves are different to ours, aren't they? Yeah, so I feel smaller. like we get more grams in ours. That's only 39 grams. I feel like ours are 45 or yeah. something, aren't they? So just a bit more. But I don't think there's a colour. It smells like that strawberry. Yeah, it does. Is oh, there you're a trying bit? to get them right. I'm on a straw. Yeah. Yeah, there is no colour. No. Obviously done that for effect Ooh. on that. Usually twelves don't fall everywhere. Mm. It's more like flake does that. I like it. 
but I think I'd rather a normal twirl and that strawberry. I wish they put that strawberry cream mm -hmm. in the twirl. That would have been good. You know, sometimes when things are flavoured strawberry, it tastes a bit artificial. Yeah. It's got that kind of vibe. It's a nice change and it's awesome when they try to do different flavours, but for that, I would rather a normal twirl. Mm. And you're right, it's when they flavour things, they're not as good. Yeah. Whereas that's like a cream. Yeah. Whereas like flavouring a chocolate doesn't always work. Nice though, yeah. but not my favourite. And I love the texture. It's been a while since I had a twirl. Yeah. And I forgot how Twirls nice it is to nice. bite through those ripples. Yeah. And kind of like breaks in their mouth. Yeah, 12 is nice. What are you giving that out of 10? I feel like I'd give that a seven. It's good, but it's just not something I'd go back for. Yeah, I would probably say seven as well. Just, I don't know, it's hard because I kind of feel like I prefer the snack banana caramel over that. Yeah. But I don't know, I think I am going to give it a higher seven. And last but not least, I thought these were awesome. So we get Cadbury's Picnic here, and I'm assuming you get it also in Australia, but these are Cadbury's Picnic Layers, although well, I'm not sure I would call it layers. No. I think I'd call it like ball, ball. picnic ball. Surely. But these were reminding me of those like protein balls. Yeah. Delicious. The bounce no, what? Balls. Yeah, the bounce balls. And maybe this is meant to be more like a little snack ball. Yeah, although just... this in itself is 34 grams. So it's not much less than a bar. Considering how small. Well, no, because. That's 39. I would rather have something like this because this looks so much smaller. Yeah. But I think because it's thick and dense. So it's dairy milk, milk chocolate shell with caramel, peanut flavoured cream and peanut pieces. Oh my word, that's not what I was expecting. Like a little chocolate mound. That makes sense now it says layers. I really thought it was just a ball. This could actually be good though. Remember in the Easter video, we had that Twix. egg Twix. Maybe putting a picnic in a different form is actually better. Yeah, I'm really intrigued. Whoa, the ca mm. funny the caramel's at the bottom. I wouldn't picture that. <laughs> you can't get it. That is amazing. Really? Mm. That almost reminded me of those one of those little Snickers bars. Mm. Mm. The creamy ones. That is that sensational. That is fantastic. Oh, so in our picnic, a novelly creation of crispy wafer, chewy caramel, crunchy peanuts, and juicy dried grape. That peanut butter was fantastic. So good. I'm so glad we got two. Yeah. We'll have to share that together. We're gonna have to go back and get some more. That is one of the best things I've ever tried. Well, that's 12 out of 10. And don't you think the shell was really good? Yeah. Enough chocolate and the thickness of the caramel at the bottom. And that is also 12 out 12 of 10. 12 out of 10. Who would have thought a couple of years ago you'd give something with peanuts in <laughs> a 12 out of 10? Because I really enjoy a picnic and I was thinking, can something really top just a classic picnic? That, that That's tops the bar. If you're from the UK or Australia and you see that in the shop, you have to get it. It's really, yeah, really definitely. delicious. A five, six, seven, eight. Well, I think we know what it is. We just covered it. It's literally this. I think I might say, though, that is my treat of the week. And if I didn't have the picnic, this was going to be yeah. my treat and of the week. And if I didn't have the picnic, I'd mm -hmm. have this. This is like no bar I've ever tried before. And I think that's why I love it so much. Yeah. And even though I love the milky bar, I've kind of had white chocolate raspberry, but I've never had anything like yeah. this. No, Fantastic. that was really good. Fantastic. That was so delicious. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, I'm just so surprised. Every time you come back from B&M with more of these yeah. Australian treats, I'm just like... It's a good day. I cannot wait for part two. Definitely check that out when it is live in a few weeks. If you would like to try some British candy, we'll leave a link to our website down below. Yeah, we've got a whole selection of boxes on our website. And when you order one of those, it helps support the channel. It really does. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.